If you still can't get a clean enough denoised signal, you can open the Advanced tab and dig a little deeper into the controls provided for fine-tuning the analysis and processing. You'll see a couple of controls that should be familiar from regular dynamics-based noise gates, knee and release. Naturally, knee smooths out the detection for noise signals near the threshold, possibly resulting in fewer artifacts, while release can be used to address issues like slight softening of transients. The other advanced controls affect the algorithm and the tonality of the residual noise floor itself. You can select more complex algorithms. Notice how the quality setting changes these. The FFT size can be altered. FFT stands for Fast Fourier Transform, the math used in spectral processing to isolate different elements of the complex signal. Audio is processed in very small time and frequency segments, and tweaking this control can impact how effective that process is. Note, if you do change this, you'll need to rerun the learned function, as the old noise profile will be invalidated by any changes here. Under Noise Floor, you have four controls that can subtly shape the sound of the processed audio, again, reducing artifacts, especially subtle high frequency loss. As you can see, the voice denoise module has pretty much the same controls and functions as the basic spectral denoise layout, except that its algorithm has been optimized to remove noise and background sound under a voice specifically. Once again, it learns the noise profile and then applies that to the audio. Here's an audio recording that was made in a room with an air conditioner running in the background. The sound of the air conditioner isn't too overpowering, but we're going to see if we can get rid of it anyway with the voice denoise module. Here's an audio recording that was made in a room with an air conditioner running in the background. The sound of the air conditioner isn't too overpowering, but we're going to see if we can get rid of it anyway with the voice denoise module. If we're successful, voice denoise will be able to identify the AC sound and then remove it from under the vocal recording. There are switches to allow for further optimizing the algorithm for spoken word or music. So, the spectral and voice denoise modules utilize spectral processing in the background to remove unwanted sound from under a recording. The next module, Spectral Repair, lets the user take a more active role in isolating unwanted sound via graphic selection in the spectrogram display.